Hello and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Hamid and today I'm going to be showing you how to get WhatsApp on your laptop or your PC. So keep in mind that WhatsApp only allows one number to be assigned to one device which means if you've already got a number that you're using on your mobile phone and you want to use it on your laptop it won't work. What it'll do is it'll verify the laptop number and it'll disconnect the mobile number. So make sure you have an additional number at hand for it to be able to do this. First of all, let's go ahead and open up our web browser. And in our web browser, we're going to type in bluestacks.com. What is this website? Go ahead and click on App Player. So in App Player, we're going to go ahead and download it for Windows. Uh, if you're running a Mac, you can download it for Mac. So let's go ahead and save that on there. So after it's downloaded, go ahead and run it. And the setup should take roughly four to five minutes, depending on the performance of your laptop. Right, so once the installation window pops up, we're going to go ahead and click continue. And you need to select your program data. I'm just going to leave the default values, click next. Uh, we would like both of them. Go ahead and click install. Now this is where it should take roughly four to five minutes to install. And I'll be right back when it's finished. Okay, after the installation is completed, it will launch the BlueStack application. So this, this is basically an Android OS that will run on your computer. Okay, so after it's initialized and it's ready for you to use, you can just go ahead and click the search button. And in here, we're just going to type in WhatsApp. And we're going to go ahead and search on the Play Store. Uh, just go ahead and click continue and it asks you to sign in or create one. I already have one so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in. So let's have a look. So go ahead and click next. Uh, we're going to enable that and we're also going to sign in again. Okay, so after both of them have been enabled and ready to use, we're going to click let's go. And we're going to agree we don't want to keep updated. Right, so once we're in here, we can just go ahead and click the search button. And we're just going to type in WhatsApp Messenger. Should come down in the drop down list. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and, and click install. And it was going to need quite a lot of information about you. Right, so after it's finished installing, you should be able to open and run it. And it will ask you for a mobile number. So make sure you have that at hand. Okay, let's go ahead and open the app. And we're going to agree and continue. We're going to select our country. And we're going to input our number. So make sure you have the number and the mobile phone with the SIM inserted because you'll need to verify the code that they send you. Let's go ahead and click OK, and yes, that's the correct number. And after that, it'll say the SIM verification has failed. So if it does fail, that's good. So basically, you can just go ahead and click and call me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my phone loudspeaker here. Let's go ahead and let them call us. Let's go ahead and pick up the call. Right, you can end the call after that, and then it'll take you to the profile name. I'm just going to leave it as that, click next, and it'll just wait to initialize. Right, so there we go, we've received the message, uh, and I'm just going to send the message back. And you can also go into settings, if you go into settings from uh, back here and chat settings and enter is send, that is usually useful. So if I go back into here and there we go. So uh, you should be able to access all of your contacts on here and um, be able to chat and every time you get a message you should be able to uh, view it. Now you, what you can also do is you can just go ahead and click that and that will make the window smaller so you can just minimize it and if you do get a message you can go back onto the application. Okay.